and beautiful that should just about do the trick let's get the final couple corners i mean more paralysis charges fantastic don't mind if i do still haven't found our orc or lair entries you don't love to see that heading into floor 10 here okay i'm likely to need to retreat here i feel let's wait one more turn no, we're gonna play this one safe the demonologist specifically is the concern if they bring in anything to uh terrifying or sketchy then they will immediately raise some some concern for us here but doesn't seem to be the case here today as for the rest of you that's what lighting torches is for beautiful oh and our lair entrance hopefully we find some more enemies before our friends retreat Unfortunately, this isn't quite what I had in mind, but you know we'll, we'll let them go ahead. Again, probably would have been better off playing it safe there, keeping our distance. Um, just because hurting ourselves while we have our summoned friends is a bit counterintuitive. You know, it makes the odds greater that they will... Uh... Oof. Uh, disappear of course while we need to heal up so the advantage there being that we stay a little bit healthier son of a gun i was really hoping that our friends would distract them a little bit further but i believe after you hit you slow down is this correct i think i have one turn to uh get a bit of an escape sorted here so we'll start the retreat unfortunately oh, our movement does not line up well for us so it's looking like i'm going to take a hit with that in mind let's hurl some torchlight at you buddy beautiful okay well, managing to hold our own so far here, despite the dungeon trying its best to kind of throw some curveballs our way. So I think now's the time that we can pivot a little bit into our defenses. Let's start training some armor, make ourselves a bit more capable as well. Killer bees extremely fatal until they're on your side. Yeah, unfortunately, the uh, the undead version not quite as potent. You need that stinger uh, fully operational in order to. Uh, make any real progress but hey not the end of the world either <clears throat> i think i do want to train some shields we wanted to go all the way up to 15 i don't know if i want to set that as our cap now because that will take quite a while to actually hit that threshold but i guess we can always come in here and workshop as we continue forward so that's not the end of the world i'm also curious we had four torches before i think i might have read in passing that killing uniques actually gives you an extra torch charge again kind of playing into the fact that you red really likes us to kill uniques and otherwise though it seems like it may be equivalent to our piety level so we had three total charges on this floor we'll have to try to keep an eye on that as we continue to uh to show our devotion that should go up Oops, let's definitely pick up Condenser Vein. Do you know what? I'm happy to be a little bit generous with how often we throw that out. Um, AC goes down a bit. I'll pick you up. Unlikely that we'll actually make use of that, but keep it as an option. And then against a, a Komodo friend here, Let's kiss of death you. I want to get some draining as well. You can have up to 34. Fortunately, I knew that we had the retreat, which was the only reason why I was even considering the uh, continued assault, as it were. But do you know what? The bees are pretty fast. So I actually think, oh, maybe zombie bees, not quite as fast. There we go, that we get our distance. 
It is going to take out our last friend. But such is life. Ice Blast to finish you off. Okay, no allies. Definitely keep that in the back of our mind. We maybe could have played that one a little bit closer to the chest, just trying to get a Komodo Dragon zombie by our side. But not the end of the world. But Fire Dragon scales very early on here. Remain the same AC, but our spell casting gets a little easier. Evasion goes up. We get that sweet, sweet fire resistance. In fact, if we pair this with the Ring of Cold, we get a solid suite of resistances. So let's change into that son of a gun. Then do not change into the Ring of Cold yet. But try, 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 brain. Uh, not, not friend brain, but my own. Um, to remember. I have cold vulnerability. When push comes to shove, I need to put that ring on pronto. We'll see how that goes. But otherwise, looking pretty good. Um, the other thing I did want to do was take another peek into our spellbook here. Is there anything else we should be working towards? I mean, we could start the fire training that I, you know, was thinking of partaking in. Uh, we could start that now, though. Get Fireball up and running at some point in our near future. Hmm. Maybe we'll have to think about that one. But, unfortunately, I'm going to have to take just a quick break. Won't be more than 30 seconds here as I just pour uh, a cup of food for the dog. And then we'll re be right back to continue. So don't go anywhere. I'll be back in just a second. Okie well, I appreciate the patience. Apologies, apologies. I will also send off a message just to make sure my partner doesn't also do the same. Dog has been fed. There we go. Fantastic. And with that, let's continue our journey here, shall we? Fantastic. I mean, I do think the Fire Dragon Scales is a pretty fortunate find for us. Ooh, does beg the question, do we continue regular dungeon? I mean, we've already been facing off against threats that I would have expected below D10, specifically multiple two-headed ogres. But it definitely warrants a bit more consideration than normal because we can't very easily back out or at least don't want to you know we, when we raise the black torch we want to raise it proudly with the the confidence to continue throughout the rest of the floor hmm i guess one way to frame this to simplify the potential decision or potentially simplify it i should say is are we ready for lair i mean hydras not even remotely We'll just hopefully be able to spam a bunch of Torchlight if a Hydra becomes an issue. We have a few ones that we can kind of take care of Hydras with as well. Hydra takes priority. Yeah, definitely, at least for this. You know, from an hour before food time until now, she's already convinced that she's starving to death. So pushing it any any further past feed time is uh, unfeasible. <laughs> Don't want to, to break her little brain. Not that I mean anything bad by that. She's a sweetie. But okie dokie, let us start 
by going through some of our uh, consumables here, just getting these IDs through. There's the heal wounds potions, fantastic. And I'm also definitely on the lookout for enchant scrolls. No dice yet, but we're on the verge, I think. But okie dokie. Do I want to go to lair? I don't think so. I don't think I'm quite ready for what that entails. So let's just head down to D11 to start off with here. And then is this something... I don't need friends. Holy cow, maybe I do need friends. Well, Vampiric Drain you, my friend. Okay, this does steal life. I'm never noticing a huge effect. Of course, part of that might be that they're just... Or not might be, but very much so is because I'm... Uh... Oh, we're barbed. You know what? I guess we're lighting the torch, brothers. Oof, this is not great. Let's condense her vein as well. And then to really just cement this in here, we torch up, baby. Okay, so now we should have some decent damage output. Of course, I'm slowed. I also have barbs in my skin. Not a good combo. I could try to do a little bit of a retreat here. I'm slightly concerned that we will lose sight of our mited buddies um, and so they won't be able to operate to their full potential but maybe that's not the end of the world essentially what i'm mulling over in my head is do i want to just immediately use a blinking scroll i'm also kind of curious excuse me what a scroll of butterflies does to our allies. Will it also sweep our allies away from us? Because if so, that potentially works out for us here. You know what? I think for the sake of science, we're going to read a butterfly scroll. It does shove everyone away from us, including our friends. Interesting. On top of that, um, I don't have Ambrosia yet. This would be a decent spot to Ambrosia and try and heal up while they chunk through our allies. Being it as it may here, or that not being the case more so, let us instead... I mean, we could just wait out a turn, see how things shake out. Fugue of the Fallen would have been something to cast earlier on, get those bonuses going, but a lack of lass. Dang, a submin butterfly is not something I can uh, take the health from. That's unfortunate. But we no longer have barbs in us, so that's something. My Jesus. <laughs> Butterflies don't exactly uh, last very long, but that was to be expected. I think I will do another torchlight. Oh, we're so close to being able to hit multiple enemies. I guess the Wraith is not actually impacted. So, with that in mind, let's just toss it down here. Kill our own butterflies, yes, but we do kill the Manticore. Okay, that was a big one for me. Fantastic. Oh, and we even get them as a friend. How are we looking now? Pretty solid damage there, 76 HP. Now that is a bit more like it, my friends. Um, can I get a cast? Yeah, we're just hitting a butterfly is fine by me. So let us blast away. And then our friends... Oh, I was going to say should be able to take care of the rest. I didn't realize. We still have this wraith just hidden around the corner. Yikes, that could have been bad. I mean, they can only deal 15 damage, but we are slowed. So I'm going to resort to a uh, heal wounds there. And then, let's dance, you and I, shall we? Perfect. Holy moly. Well, that was quite the encounter overall. I still just have one torch charge left, so we want to be cognizant of when and where that should be used. But otherwise, we managed to retain more consumables than I thought. I was definitely convinced that a, uh, 
A blink scroll was in our future there for the longest time. As is, no such worries. I mean, two ogres feels like a pattern, no? Are we looking at a unique here? It is. Low duel, you son of a gun. Okay. This is kind of tough. I need to get into range so that call down lightning is no longer a concern. Because otherwise, running through my allies, not going to be quite as useful as it once was. So, yikes. I mean, we do get another charge of our ability if we uh, kill Lodul. I'm hoping Ogre, could you... I was hoping the Ogre would actually stand down a little bit and give us uh, a better opportunity. But you know what? That's as good as it gets. Let's kill our Ogre friends nice and fast. In fact, I will pop around this corner. This was not a good move. By the way, if you're wondering if there was any intelligence behind this, the answer is no. In fact, yikes, yikes, yikes. I can't hurl any more torchlight. How close do I have to be for this? Enemies that are adjacent or nearly adjacent cannot be struck. So that implies I'm okay with this separation. Beautiful. And then I think our ogre wins that encounter. Fantastic, great work out there, kiddos. Holy moly. Really just killing it on all fronts. And we get our torch charge back as well. Oh, and laptop decided to update in the background. <laughs> Probably should have been paying attention enough to prevent that behavior, but not the end of the world. Yeah, I was slightly concerned about this. But do you know what? The power of many. <laughs> Don't have to worry about rocks when you have a bunch of not very evasive zombies between you and your target. So, fantastic. Not overly punished. And then with you, my friend, we'll just keep stacking up poison, especially if you just let me do so to my heart's content. Fantastic. Thank you, my roly-poly pal. And that's D11. Holy. So might want to do one more floor. Go back to our old school style of uh, down to D12 before we delve into lair. Might be our best option here at the moment, or at least so it would seem. Hmm. Let's head to our stairs. I mean, I shouldn't wait for all of our friends. I guess they're all gonna disappear here. You know, like all of our friends, they're just going to leave us anyway, so what's the point? Not to make too depressive of a joke out of things. Definitely don't want to make light of that scenario, because unfortunately, not quite as glib or fun as I make it out to be. Uh, but anyway, let's jump out of this hole I'm digging before it gets too deep to do so, because knowing myself, I will continue downwards until the point of no return. That's where my gift of the gap ends. Sure, I can kind of rattle incessantly. I can narrate to my heart's content till the cows come home, but there's no guarantee what I say will be sensible, sensible or appropriate in any way, shape or form. Hooray for an intrusive speech, not even intrusive thoughts because it all just gets aired out there. But okie dokie, I think we will just head down to D12. I'm trying to kick my brain into a higher level of operation um which sounds like i might be getting high and mighty about things but no my higher level of operational skill is just base level human being so i'm working on it but maybe we'll get there at some point this evening let's go for it let's jump down won't let our torch quite yet uh, until we're absolutely sure in fact even against you this is potentially where my my issue comes in. We've been struggling with even a Komodo dragon, which is kind of a baseline enemy for Lair. So not great. I think we need a little bit more pep in our step, a little bit more zhush to, uh, to throw at the table here. I mean, I could just light the torch. 
it's dangerous because I don't know what the rest of this floor entails. When we've only explored this much, there's a good chance that I'll immediately run into a foe that uh, necessitates beating a hasty retreat, as it were. I guess only one way to find out. Jeez Louise. Well, I don't know how much my summons will... Uh, get to see i mean i'm going to risk it i'm going to explore while not sitting at the best health standard just so that i can potentially sick my my group of ghosts on some new friends maybe hello okay it's looking like we're gonna be in for a in for a penny in for a pound here so let us just all work together, shall we? I am gonna have to heal wounds there. Oof. And unfortunately, my pack is being thinned at an alarming rate. Can at least get the kill off here, survive one more turn. It also allows us to finally get a full heal now that our summons are gone. I feel like trying to keep our summons alive, you know, workshopping their efficiency trying to make them more useful in their effective time on this plane of existence might get me killed i think i'm trying too hard when i should just get a full heal you're safer overall at the end of the day with that approach or at least off times will be but hey we'll we'll see if my brain can learn that lesson as we continue forward shall we Okay, I thought the Orc Knight had the plus five heavy mace and I was slightly concerned. But this is maybe a bit more our speed. I can hurl Torchlight. Oh, and then our zombie immediately dies. I hate that. You know what, Manticore zombie? You do you, buddy. I'm torching again. I don't want to lose my last friend on this earth. At least not unnecessarily, if at all possible. But hey, we shall see. Okay, this here is a, uh, yeah, if you go to the Fallen moment, fantastic. Maybe we can get some more friends to our side. This buddy probably has a wand, I guess. A wand of acid. Nonetheless, holy moly. And okay, I confirmed I no longer have torchlight to throw. Good to note. Well, I mean, I still probably continue to to fight here because you've got to, of course, fight for your right to party. We all know this to be true. Dodge the acid buddy there, and then the rest of you should be a bit more of a straightforward fight to the death. There we go. We get the Cyclops zombie on our side as well. Beautiful. But uh, still, let's go to a slightly safer locale before we heal up. Take a look at you, my friend. I would rather have a manticore zombie, but hey, let's not look this gift horse in the mouth and instead be happy with what we do have instead of uh, resin for what we don't. And I was concerned about that. Hopefully, our friend's powers combined can do something to this son of a gun, especially if I can get the paralyze off on it oh do i dare try again probably need to just start blasting you oh me oh my this is gonna be a, a tighter encounter than i wished for one more 30 percent chance son of a gun oh gosh that is not great i mean i could maybe bind soul what do you do Okay, living, holy, or demonic beings. So nice open plethora of options for us there. We have to slay it before it leaves our sight. Then it returns as bound soul, retain the equipment, spells, and abilities it had in life. And only beings who are relatively uninjured may be targeted. Interesting. We'll lose some of our health. It's one third of our current health. Oof. And... Otherwise, that's a bit more straightforward. Health is influenced by our invocation. Cool. And it will actually follow us. So we can have one semi-permanent friend. I doubt this person, or this uh, ugly thing rather, has enough HP left to be a contender. 
for that, but something to uh, keep in mind for the future. I'm gonna throw some acid at you. I think I'm still not one hit territory. I mean, my Evo is not any good, so this should be like 3d8, 3d7. So not great odds that that uh, gets the kill we're aiming for here. I wish I'd noticed we had Bind Soul. I probably would have used that on this son of a gun nice and early. Though I guess we did lose sight of it technically, so that would have <laughs> probably been a bad call with some uh, retrospective in place here. I mean, another option is I could just Berserk, but I think I should play this safe and try to... Uh, ensure my own survival so the max damage you can do is 35 so technically I'm good to try one last hurrah there fantastic